Well, <laughs> timing. Oh, hey everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with. Faison First Metric here at your service, who sees red lines. Give me a second to skip and to get that loose. Uh, yeah, and welcome back to Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb, which is still being cast through screen, uh, through display capture. So, yeah, when I, <laughs> when I alt tab out, or rather Windows key out, it does show a corner of the start menu for a bit. Uh, but yeah, it still runs better like this than through, yeah, game capture. I might need to look into if display capture just works better with some games than game capture does. Uh, it could get lead to well stuff like that popping up, but it we'll, we'll have to test that. For now, though, uh, let's get back in. Last time we ran rather short with Tomb Raider Legend, unexpectedly, though uh, possibly I should have expected it. And uh, yeah, we started up uh, with an hour of Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. Also, hello in the chat, Glacier Boy. You were indeed early. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Very early than late, and welcome. Now, last time we did have a bit of an issue that the mouse kept escaping the game, which was causing issues, like possibly accidentally clicking OBS off, uh, or just move, getting a lot of annoying stuff. I've managed to fix that, I think, by turning on mouse clipping, which I don't know what exactly that does, but, well, it's kept the mouse from escaping any further. Mouse clipping and there's a clip on the screen <laughs> next on arrow uh yeah let's continue on where we left off still in ceylon still looking for the black river goddess's idol uh. Okay, I had said... Okay, I was thinking about possibly checking for anything down there, but let's not. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I, I said that streaming on today was going to be a bit iffy, but yeah, the training stuff, it's ended early enough. And the next location that I have to be tomorrow is close enough, so... Yeah, I can, we can do a stream, I can get a bit of rest, and then be off with that tomorrow. I doubt it will be too involved, and yeah, not to say that we'll stream again tomorrow. I'm not going for three in a row, what the heck was that? But yeah, just an extra stream, because we did do this one short. It's yeah, and person. ain't it Wednesday tomorrow? Uh, let's see, which day is it? Uh, 4th of it's April? Tuesday today. Tuesday, yeah. When Wednesday is typically a game that we, the, a day that we wouldn't stream anyways, I believe. Yeah, we, ever, ever since you started to do the swimming thing again, I did recommend that we should probably have a Wednesdays as a rest day again. Yeah, Wednesday and Fridays. And also, hello, are these drag marks? Yeah. Mark, just scuff marks on the stone in general. I think someone just stepped on my grave. Let's see. Very Wait, obvious. What? Did he just say I think someone stepped on my grave? Yep. <laughs> well, we stepped on someone's grave. Or at least their remains. Wait, hold on. If the person died in that manner, shouldn't the the shouldn't they be skilled to be in a different condition? Yeah, but then there wouldn't be much of a sign that there is a trap. Also, this very much feels like a trap as well here. Yep. Oh. I have to find another way around. Oh. There's your other way around. <laughs> Oop. That was too close. Where can we attach? We. There and we go. Glacier Boy. I actually forgot what I was actually saying. 
Let's see. I, I, I guess it's a saying you don't hear too often nowadays. There he is. Yep, spotted. Actually, though. Yeah, you, you just come to us. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're not actually dumb enough to try that again, huh? Go, or you are. Up, Doc. That would, uh, that would hurt like absolute hell, though, getting kicked off of a ladder and falling on your back. Okay. Just some ammo. And there's a croc in the water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was kind of disrespectful. Yeah, not much need for a machete at the moment since we already have one, but oh uh, well. It's um, good to spare, or if you need to do wield. I'm guessing the water there is mostly in case you, well, you don't jump off. You'll just have to escape from the gator for a bit. <sighs> Shooting him in the head with a gun will kill them instantly. Okay. So, a bit more of semi-stealth stuff. Mm. Oop. Keep an eye out for the American, hey? On big ones is it. Yep. You. Well. Uh. You failed that stealth as usual. Yep. <laughs> and then again, we have a shotgun with a handful of shells, so we don't really need uh, stealth. Wait, wait, hold on. I was a South African. Wait, wait what, what what do you mean there, uh, Ignatia boy? One looks a bit more like Puerto Rican or something. Oh, the that accent. way. Yeah, I've been debating on the accent, and I was thinking if I was Australian myself there, but... Yeah, just general yeah. dumbass bad guy. Yeah. Accents. Uh, there are many variations. I don't think there is a bad guy accent. What is all causing all of these? Unless you go to Hollywood. Breaks. Okay. Fill up the Jumbotron again. Let it go, Doc. You wouldn't move there for a second. Hmm. Oh, lovely. They decorate their levers with skulls here. Tiny skull at that, actually. <laughs> Might be from a monkey or something. On Hurry up, car. That's enough for this, man. <gasps> it, it, the accent sounds familiar, but I haven't heard too many South Africans, so I would not know. The only one I recall here that accent would probably be from uh, one of the Tremors movies. Keep an eye out for the American, I want big ones is in. Go. There's quite a bunch up here, so let's pull out the revolver. Okay, you we can take on with fists. Oh, we. Oh, we. we Okay, I think what happened there was because we struck first, because he was going for a you know, grab whilst we were doing a... We're, yeah, we're making a jab. So we were quicker that we were basically reversed his grab. Okay, uh, let's see. Didn't have the dragging out of the wild like the Australian accent has. Okay. Uh, can't reload this thing. Let's see. Yeah, I doubt all of the, these guys are so, South Africans, since is it the same voice for all of them? So I guess it's definitely a little bit cheap in the voice acting there. 
Maybe a bit, but this is the first level of region at the very least. Let's see. Oh, that's not ominous at all. Oh. Right. It's alive, ain't it? Well, I, it is turning towards us, it looks like. There we go. And now we have to deal with multiple. Okay, very obvious hinting, do this, do not die. Uh, yeah, I guess we don't have to look too far for the ancient Babylonian bullshit with this game. That's... Is it me or does this look a bit awkward the way he does it? Yeah, I, I commented on the last video, he, he looks really quick. And hence why I asked you about the frame rate. Oh, that bat statue is some sort of trap mechanism. It seems to be triggered by sounds. Maybe I can trick it into shooting at something else. Wait, it's not alive? <sighs> okay, it needs a moment to recharge. Uh, yeah, it, it looks very much alive. I, I'm guessing it's built to trigger on sounds and we are making a small amount of sound as we're walking, but not enough to actually trigger it. It is made of the look so lifelike. Very good sculptor. There's some statues out there that get, get pretty creepy accurate. Oh, hello. Yeah, but the, the, those wings look a little bit too thin to made of stone. And the wrong color. Yeah, ow. Take that out. Yeah, just shake Put it, it away and fight me like a man. <laughs> Oh, bloody heck. You win, Darren. <laughs> okay, the shotgun levitated in the air for a second there. Yeah, it, it, you also see you pick up hats. Yep, because Indy's hat got knocked off when he <laughs> took a full load of buckshot in the chest without so much as a stain. Holy crap. Again, I impressed with the attention to the details. No, I will give a little bit my spot that they give more variety with the henchman voice lines. Yeah, they'll, they'll come in later as we go to other areas. Also, is it just me or... Is, does his brow line make... Oh, he's actually moving his eyebrows up and down a bit, it seems. Yeah, does his brow yeah, line do make him look a bit like a depressed Elmo Fudd like this? Uh, I prefer Indu where uh, Elmo Fudd. Hello. He does look depressed sometimes. Daddy. There he boom. <laughs> okay, I was half expecting him to die on the first shot. I, I, I was trying to sneak up on him with a <laughs> freaking double barrel. <laughs> Silence this bitch. Boom. This okay. is my boomstick. <sighs> Now we have to deal with five of these things. Let's see. Oop. Okay, the okay, range it, is a lot shorter, it seems. Yeah, it's not made of stone, actually. Okay. There is some kind of fabric that has survived the uh, ages rather well. Yep. <laughs> Throw that thing on this grass. Yeah, it's some sort of leather or something. Okay. Wait, is that how their mouths actually look once they open up? Uh, look at the face and tell me you, that doesn't uh, that look doesn't uh, ring a bell. Hmm. On the bat stat statue here. Tell me, does that ring a bell? 
as some sort of vampire? I'm drawing a bit uh, of a blank. Or... No, no, let, let, let's take more of a child friendly franchise. I don't think this. Well, this guy could count to five at least, like the count. Because <laughs> he has five no. holes in his mouth. Pokemon, Hillian. A Pokemon. Yeah, gold bat. Yes. <laughs> Looks like a slim <laughs> version of that damn thing. It, they could make a, a, a region variant like uh, that one sometime. I don't I think, think they already have. Has hands. I'll have to double check. I haven't really played too much since uh, Sword and Shield. I haven't played since Ruby and Sapphire. There we go. Get out of this. Uh, here we there go. There it is. The heart of Guruatu. And of course... Whoa. Looks like somebody's been overfeeding the fish. If I don't get that monster out of the way, this is going to be a real short swim. Um... Yeah. I think we found the father or mother of uh, all of the crocs in the place. Uh, is that a actual croc or something prehistoric? Do they no, just, do just keep growing? Yeah, so it could be either. Uh, let's see. I see a platform with a ladder up there. Yeah, I should probably say this to people. The current crocodiles living today that are that have the record of being the biggest, those with names, are usually big because of how old they are. Okay, quick swim, swim. He's not going to be distracted too long, and I think it's already behind us. <laughs> well, <laughs> instant kill. Well, yeah. first clip of the day. First clip of the day. <laughs> we are only 17 minutes there in. Is the heart of Guruatu. <laughs> oh, dear God. Okay, we can't skip. Yeah, that's a big boy. Whoa. Looks like oh, now I see. The fish. The fish. Did they have that monster broke out of the, the way, bridge? This is going to be a real short swim. Did it actually get closer with that? I, I just realized the damn thing ate him whole! Yep. Okay, this time let's not accidentally surface too soon. And. Oh. Ledge? Ah, there. Oh, okay. Oh, now. Okay, he's not actually chasing us. Yet. Okay. I don't think it's you. So if it is far away enough, it won't actually hear us jumping into the water. I was expecting it to basically come zooming over the moment that you jump in. Okay. Well, now we know who all of these uh, levers are based on. Yeah, I guess the goddess animal companion is uh, one of these. Or they are supposed to be the goddess. Like, you have places where uh, animals are yeah, surface and get on. Where certain animals are worshipped as if they are the deity themselves. True. Like, there was one entire place in Egypt called Crocodopolis. Crocola. Croco. Oh. Something, uh, some a metropolis name with croc in the name, which was basically, yeah, basically Sobek City. So yeah, they kept, oop, they kept crocs there, as if they were and treated them like they were uh, demigods. Yeah, I they remember. Overfed the fuckers. Yeah, I remember here they actually had crocodiles in some of the other temples as well, even the smaller ones. And it's actually a place yeah. that's in uh, Assassin's Creed Origins. Oh, well, I'm not surprised. And also, 
Crocopolis Kro is more than Greekified name for it. Yeah. Yeah, many things have been Greekified uh, during that era. But what you do to Greece did at some point have some control over the area. Mm, yeah. And they were most of the one right for the whole world. If there is one major complaint about uh, Assassin's Creed Origins that I have, mostly about the setting, it's that uh, it is, well, Cleopatra and the era of Cleopatra is iconic and all, but it's also kind of boring. Like they could have, they could have put it in much more interesting times in Egypt. Like a, a, a time that has not been told over and over and over and over again. Yeah, more a time where there's actually more happening than what could basically be called a spat between Rome and Egypt. And even, yeah, we even don't get the most interesting parts of that uh, conflict, if you could call it that. Because it was over pretty short. Pretty quick. But uh, yeah, maybe they will revisit it sometime. They are revisiting the Middle Eastern era, anyways, with the. Uh, was it? Yeah, Assassin's Creed Mirage, I believe it was. If that one even will release, considering uh, the chaos they are in at the moment, the company. True. And even if they don't, then someone else might just buy up the whole thing. Yeah, and... for, I think I heard some people not liking the upcoming uh, game. That it looks bad or something. At least from the thumbnails I've been seeing. Like, people are not excited for it. Let's see, where... there's Chubby. <gasps> Yeah. That does make me. A, that does give me a curious thought. If not Ubisoft, who else would be good to continue on the Assassin's Creed series? No idea. Then again, I haven't really had a big interest in it, so I, I don't care too much of Assassin's Creed. Sadly enough, mm, I'm, I'm, I'm more caring for uh, your good and evil. There we go. Just needed to take a step further. Yep. Uh, of course, one last trap. Okay. Uh, let me guess, we can't use... Wait, we can? Run, chop away, Indy. Why are you not Maybe chopping? We, yeah. I mean, uh, you can't. Uh, you would technically be able to use it underwater practically. True, but we should be able to, since well, it actually has the symbol and everything. So let's look. Let's go the other way. Up. Oh, right mouse button. Since it's in the right hand, I'm guessing. Yeah, get out! Get out! <laughs> that actually made me jump a little bit. Clip. Okay. Yeah, I'm guessing. Yeah, they put it in his right hand, so that's why. So, someone's a very annoyed pair of oversized handbags. Yeah, I, I have to say, the croc model looks damn good for how old the game is. Okay, well, since it's distracted over there... I would say this game has aged well. Yeah. Guten Tag, Dr. Jones. It's a beautiful day for swim, is it not? I would join you, but I seem to have forgotten my bathing suit. No problem. I can lend you mine. It's back at the hotel. <laughs> the famous American sense of humor. I never really understood it. Look, Hans, or Klaus, or whatever your name is, I don't know what you're talking about. But whatever it is, I'm sure we can cut a deal. Very well. Here is the deal. 
You will give me the idol. Now. Okay, okay, you've made your point. I've got what you want right here. Back just sliding into his DMs. <laughs> okay, the, the models are still a little, a still a, a little ugly, you could say, but it, I think it kind of works. Yeah, like it's still impressive. For most other games trying what the what they did now usually look worse. Yeah, maybe you could call it more scruffy than ugly. Yeah, like, they, they were better than most, and doing it, at least. Excuse me. The exhibit hall is upstairs. We are not tourists, Dr. Jones. I am Marshal Kai Di Chang of the Chinese Republic. This is my assistant, Mei Ying. So, oh, what can I do for you? You're <laughs> What do you know about Qin Shi Huang Ti? The first emperor of China. He built the Great Wall and established a dynastic government that lasted for centuries. His reign lasted from 255 BC to... That information can be found in a school book, Dr. Jones. My interests concern the stories surrounding the Emperor's tomb. As you are undoubtedly aware, Emperor Qin is buried under Mount Li near the city of Xi'an. Yes, that's about all anybody really knows for sure. According to the legends, Qin's tomb is an immense underground city filled with unimaginable riches, which took thousands of workers several years to build. After its completion, all those involved with the construction of the tomb were sealed inside. At least that's what the stories say. Due to Chinese superstition, nobody really knows for sure. Yes. The Chinese people have always held that excavation and desecration of the tomb are one and the same. As a consequence, no one has ever been allowed to explore it. Until now. Why are you coming to me with this? Chinese history isn't exactly my specialty. It's your non-academic reputation that interests me. Have you ever heard of the Heart of the Dragon? Only in Chinese folklore, it's a mythological artifact like Excalibur or the Holy Grail. Ah, but unlike those flights of Western fancy, the heart of the dragon is quite real. A flawless black pearl that was buried with the Emperor. It's said that the heart possesses the power to control the will of men. Look, I know you traveled a long way to see me, but I'm an archaeologist, not a mystic. Mm, then it's a good thing I came looking for an archaeologist. Superstitious folk tales aside, the heart is a priceless treasure of the Chinese people, one that must never fall into the wrong hands. That is why China wants you to find it. Okay, let's say I'm interested. It'll take months of meticulous excavation to find the entrance to Qin's crypt. I wouldn't even know where to begin. On the contrary, Dr. Jones, you've already begun. Hey! What the heck is that? It is one-third of the Mirror of Dreams. The mirror is the key to finding the crypt's entrance within the tomb. You do not realize the magnitude of the events you have set in motion, Dr. Jones. Even as we speak, others are pursuing the two remaining pieces. If they get the mirror, nothing will stop them from entering the crypt, stealing the heart, and using its power to enslave the world. Ah, my apologies, Professor. My assistant is cursed with a vivid imagination and an impetuous tongue. Reminds me of my last date. In any event, the British government has graciously allowed me to take possession of this artifact on China's behalf. We want you to recover the final two pieces of the mirror, enter Qin's crypt, and recover the heart of the dragon. You'll become the most famous archaeologist in history. Will you help us? A chance to become the first man in the Emperor's tomb? When do we leave? I've already booked you a flight to Prague. 
It leaves tomorrow morning. This contains everything you need to know. Read it on the flight. Be careful, she? Dr. Jones. The path to the dragon's heart is more dangerous than you can imagine. It always is, sweetheart. Okay, I have to say, it, it, it's not that bad, actually. Like, on a bad guy earlier, it was a little bit rough since we saw so much weird teeth on him, but he killed? Yeah. It was and then extremely he saw plenty of well teeth himself. The time. Wait, what? And then he saw plenty of teeth himself as he got eight. <laughs> Uh, that too, <laughs> but you get what I mean. Extremely well done for when it was made. Yeah. The old castle is an abandoned after all. Better keep a low profile. I can't afford any trouble on this one. And now we're infiltrating a German castle. Over in Germany. Yep, Prague to be a, actually nope. Prague is a bit more e. Uh, Poland? Prague is in a Slavic country. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But I sure think Prague we'll... is in Russia. We'll need to double check this, but uh, I recall hearing a lot of German in this level when I originally played through it like 10 plus years back. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. I think... Oh, check. Oh, wait. Check. Sorry. Yes, it was in check. Yep. That was, was right. It was in a Slavic country, at least. That thought I got at least correct. Yeah. Okay. Oop. Hello. Nope. Sounds Luger. But wasn't Czech Republic once part of Russia? At one point, yeah. Hmm, then why do I remember German? Or did I just confuse Czech for German or something? I would not be surprised if Germany do at one point uh, occupy it. Could be. Hmm. And yeah, we are back to I our normal know. canteen. Yeah, I don't know the complete history of uh, which country got occupied by who, really. Then again, I don't really study First War and World, Second World War. Yeah, Beanie would probably know the specifics. Also, funny that they were talking about Excalibur and such when we just finished a game with Excalibur. Oh, hello there. Yeah, that, that definitely sounds German or Germanic to me. And that is... It could be German spies or so that has been sent the, to steal something. But it sounds like we still do, do, do the World War or something. Yeah, this should be the 40s to 50s. It doesn't, I think it actually didn't get you it. have your papers. Nine, nine. Not intimidating enough. <clears throat> Show me your papers now, please. Yeah, that's it. You're definitely German. <laughs> just gently rub it against his ear. No, no, you just rub it. He actually noticed. I'm pretty sure anyone will notice when you poke their ears with a piss a revolver. And okay, this is from Clinchboard. It has Romania, Slo Slovakia, and a few more countries between it and Russia. Yeah, the reason I stopped reading was because my screen went white for a moment there. So you know what that means. Clip. Yep. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I remember pulling that trick <laughs> in the exact same spot. <laughs> oh dear god. But yeah. Some areas yes, on some maps I can identify country right away. But other areas like... Uh, if we have all this Slovenia, Slovakia, Czech, all that, that... I think many people struggle to identify which country is which over there at times. Yeah, they have a lot of similarities, so... You could say you need to check if it is, if it is Czech. 
Oh, good plus that pawn, but yeah. It, uh, also, you know, the countries that are all even newer. Good old gargoyles. Uh, yeah, we're chasing after a piece of the mirror of dreams. Yes. Oh, hello. I'll take that. Oop, take plenty of ammo. And also, well, I say plenty, but I have to say, it was a nice day that we actually saw. I saw her go to this and wonder what, what she doing. She inspected the artifact of curiosity. Most games would not even bother doing that. They just just jump with her there, breaking it right away. But no, they. If you play that, you could see her go over there, inspect it, then break it. Yeah, they. Hmm. I still need to f see. Hmm. I know it's you know, some of the movies in full. Uh, or at least in in a lot of parts that I think I, that I've seen most, but I think they're basically going with a similar uh, story choreography like the movies. Uh, sort that, of. They, that they are doing with both games yeah. definitely. Just they have been able to do it well while gamifying it. Yeah. Like, it turned into a game, but it still has the Indiana Jones feel to it. Not too much more and, this, I hope. Just keep your eyes open. Yeah, there they are. Even right. I'm done here. Herr Göring will give me that riding crop he promised me. What? I will not ask for that. Um. Right. Anyway, what I will say is it also has the very famous Lucas Art feel. Let's see. Can I sneak up on them? I, I, I feel we should investigate when this game was made for... 2003, like it... actually. Oh, That's yeah. Good. Definitely extremely well made for 2003 game. They, they, they are a few years ahead. Have you said 2010? I would not be surprised, but 2003 is still doing this without breaking computers and consoles. Okay. That means Lucas or knows what they are doing. I wanted to pick it up, Jones. Okay, yeah, the Luger actually doesn't do that much damage. Okay. So yeah, focus still remains on melee combat for the most part. Yeah. Really, you people never cleaned out the bloody, <laughs> the, the bloody skeleton. This look okay. It looks like it's a left, like you can pull it, but no, it's not actually. Okay. Also, yeah, I didn't have the thing to show that it is. It is an actual interactable pop. -up. Okay. Another table leg in here? Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Oop. Oh. Okay. Did we... Did we almost just... <laughs> we both got jump scared, basically. We're at least startled. Yeah, startled, but also... Maybe almost repeat what happened in the last Indiana Jones game. <laughs> Basically. Uh... Well, minus the hammer and more of... Yeah, we didn't... This time we didn't expect that to be a trap at all. Yeah, more like salami sliced. Holy... Okay, and also this has a good explanation as to why these things are still functional, since, well, this castle is still unused, they're being maintained. Wait, you should... Hold on! Hmm? I'm pretty sure his head should have been locked up several times there. Yeah. Okay. 
Now, this is a design that I'd call almost lazy with how slowly it's going around. Ooh. I say, as I almost roll into the second roller. Okay, this is just overdoing it. <laughs> Someone is trying way too hard. Also, I think you could basically just go prone and go through this here, but uh, Indy doesn't want to get his coat dirty. What the heck? Is this a cookie machine or something from first? What looked like a Ow. demented wave of a rolling dough with rolling pins? But this... The meat grinder? Yeah. But, but, Wait, if you called the other ones earlier a slight salami, so I guess meat slicer, bread dough, uh, is this just a bug machine? <laughs> well, we're probably not too far away from Hamburg. Is it Hamburg in Germany? I'm not actually sure, but... <laughs> oh, hello there. Uh, we can't help you, Gebrauchen. Give me that. There we go. <laughs> Taken out by their own pistol. How uh, poetic. Let me actually reload this thing. There we go. We've got two clips. Though it takes about half to a full one to take someone out at full health. So not too extremely useful, but still nice enough. Where the heck did you two come from? What? What? <sighs> That's not going to work. Hmm. Ah, I see. There we go. Uh, also a little detail that I didn't draw attention to, but when uh, Jones got hurt during the by the traps, he was actually starting to slouch before well we healed up. So another nice nice little detail: as your le health goes down, you start to uh, Jones starts to react to it. Speaking of going down, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> No. Uh, how far What's goes that, that back? What's that not a great moment? Uh, <laughs> now it's being a bit slow with the response. Up there it went. But yeah. Right back at to the beginning of uh, the stage. <sighs> Not so, too much more of this, yeah, I hope. We do have to be careful keep your eyes open. with uh, the platforming. Yeah, for this game did they have a traditional save, uh, actually. I like the other one, really enough. Yeah. And also something I noticed. He, the way he, well, cling to the wall was very well done. Yeah. Give me that. Usually they can, when you move along a wall, it can look usually look clunky around this era, but... A bloody heck. I, I, I am impressed by Lucas Art, and again, I will say this again, I'm glad they're back. I was just kind of question, how did they get this band in the first place? Good question, actually. You should look into that sometime. Yep. Mouse is going a bit weird, but yeah, the reason that this one doesn't have a save system is because this was also made uh, for the consoles, or <clears throat> probably consoles first and then PC. So yeah, consoles work a lot more with checkpoints, or check console games work a lot more with checkpoints. Oh. Ow, ow. <laughs> bonk, bonk. <laughs> Oh, you know what? 
I'm tempted to install these in some friends' uh, houses. It's probably an excellent morning exercise for them. I should have kept that teacher to that. Okay, dude. These things are annoyingly off, uh, off pattern. Like, they go at slightly different times, so they don't line up. I think that's the pur I think that's the purpose that is they're meant to do that. So, and yeah, as you can see, slouching a bit. So let's fill up. Just uh, Dr. Jones <laughs> absorbing water through osmosis, just hold sticking his hand in, and that's how he gets a drink. <laughs> yep. Okay, luckily not. Mo <laughs> Luckily, not hurt that bad. Okay. Uh, I do remember that there are some areas in this game that can be pretty long. Be oh, hello. Yep. So we will have to be careful with platforming in some areas. Let's take that. Did you just steal his pistol? But that remove. I feel like you just went Batman down on him. Yeah. With the way you jumped. Speaking of Batman, actually... Um, I was going to throw him over. Um, the people behind the Arkham games, those could be a interesting for like a new indie game or maybe even assassin's creed you mean this i uh, guess I mean, was it uh was it rocksteady i think it was rocksteady uh could be wrong on that but uh yeah then again i think was it them or some other company that recently did uh, Arkham Knights? Oh, a company! That one wasn't uh, received as well. Hmm. Is this yeah, I'm sure. And also, everyone, every time someone say Rocksteady, I think it was a certain character with that name. Yeah, the, the Rhino from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, but that's the only time I ever heard that name mentioned. So when I hear the company, I instantly go to him and Bebop. <laughs> oh, yeah, could be wrong with all of that uh, that way. I think it's an idea. I, I have uh, two friends. I'm now suddenly tempted to meet never Brockstead and Bebop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is it Glacier Boy and Durvin? Ooh. Uh, no. More of a probably Durvin and Mac. You can hier Hilfe gebrauchen. You might want to work on your pri target priority, Dr. Jones. Where's the pistol? Where's the pistol? Ooh, okay, just brush him. I don't see where the pistol went. I think they flew past the fence. Here we go. Ow. Okay, smart guys taking cover and taking pot shots. Not smart enough to unload, though. Give me that. Oh, hello. Okay, you actually stayed out of fire, uh, out of com yeah, melee range. Yep. Just backhand the bastard. You know what? When you said that they made it, made it feel like a news movie, and I agree with you all that. This proves the point. Out, out. And this is probably why it is so impressive. But I remember how he fights. And that is a very typical movie move. Movie move? Ech. But I, yeah, just yeah. the rule. 
throw the elbow at the one behind you. Yeah, the, the combat isn't uh, isn't too complicated. It is basically just fast attack, strong attack. Uh, yeah, but they had done so much together. with it. Yeah. I, I'm I'm still impressed and amused by the fact that we could count the guy that caught in these fists and just kick him in the balls. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I, I I'm gonna investigate also why Lucas Ott got suspended first time for it feels so weird. Uh, okay, from Glacier. Oh, ooh, dinners! So many dinners! Wait, a few more of them in Beanie. Oh, yes. Right, let's see what Glacier Boy is saying. Dr. Jones and his favorite pastime of backhanding German. Oh, God. That's a brutal pastime. <laughs> Okay, I, I was I was keeping an eye on the rats there, and some of them weren't even animated in there. Yep, you can see the one at the bottom. He's just sliding along. <laughs> no, he's wiggling. <laughs> okay, that's they, just they, funny. They're moving. They're wiggling. Yeah, but they aren't all the time when they're moving. <laughs> a small little thing to save on uh, processing power. Yeah, do, how does it... I never heard rats... Make it that sound. I know, I know. Rats name make a sound called broxing. Um, I forget specifically how it sounds, but that's a sound they only really make to when they're really happy. Which I'm not sure these rats would be. Then again, they might have had a very good feast with all of these bodies around. Back. They're very loud. Yeah. Can we actually? I, but I heard. I know they can be. Rats can be loud, all that, but how would you describe this? Very loud for rats. Yeah, but less squeaky and more whatever this is. Yo. Oh, there's actually a fountain down here. I completely overlooked that. I, I, I can see this. If I hadn't seen, if I didn't see the rats, I actually would be confused over what the heck was making the sounds. Yeah. <laughs> sounds almost like an alien creature in a way. Okay, another ledge where he's being a bit odd. Well, no. There. Okay. Yeah, they're obnoxious rats. Yeah. Do I have a much experience with one. rats? Don't think you often see seen... when you get animations for just slamming into something while swinging. Bloody heck. Again, I'm glad Lucas Ork or Lucas or Lucas Art are back. For I hope they will bring back this kind of quality to gaming. The American is hiding around here somewhere. Cowardly. <laughs> Flash has gone through the gate. <laughs> Hello. What are you doing in there? Oh, there's a bunch of you. Give me. Give me that back. Another? 
Okay. Die in the prize, Dr. Jones. Oh. Okay, you're just going to keep jumping out of those, aren't you? Okay, give me that. This ought to even up the odds. <sighs> give me that. Jumping joy. Then we're shot like oh no. It wouldn't be a level with German enemies without a freaking MP40, huh? That's... Up. Ow. With combat roll. Okay. Uh, up five is the shortcut for machine gun. Blow this up. Or they're just going to keep spawning for a while. Take back the hats. Oh, that was actually the kill shot. Okay. Okay. Another one of you jumped out. How many... <laughs> How many Germans are in this account car? Good question. There we go. That's amount of Germans are in the clown car. Okay. Now, we have an explosive. We have plenty of ammo at the moment. So I may need to retract my statement a bit about uh, mostly a combat. Well, melee is still a big focus. Let's uh, see. <laughs> An MP40 and stereotypical German accents. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think I said this before. It was on the stream. I can. I heard heard real German accent, and I, I prefer the real one over what I often hear from Hollywood. <gasps> yeah, they tend to over exaggerate. Yeah. Like, there's a point point where I would call it almost... They sound less German and more like an angry chihuahua. Okay, I like this thing. However, when they do sound like an angry chihuahua, that means they really dropped the ball with an accent. Hmm. Okay, this is just scenery. Where do we need to go? Oh yeah, it, it makes sense that when our enemies have a lot of guns, that we'll have to focus a bit more on the gunplay as well. I wonder why those goons were so interested in this well. Also, can I say I like this kind of car? This Ignore the back half for a bit, but just this style with the flowing uh, sides and such. Yeah, some part of these early colors I kinda miss. I, I'm pretty sure I've said it before many times, but I do not like the modern teardrop look. It makes them all look the same. It's more aerodynamic, yes. But it's just they just all look the same to my eyes. I had that thing on for a while. They all look like the same box for a while, and now they look all the same ish. Yeah, like I even prefer priest. the launch box looks. Uh, you, you mean the those with really short edges? Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't I feel like them. Hmm. Like. As I'm sorry to say this to me, but I don't like Cadillacs. Probably good to do to, to I feel like whenever we say a Cadillac, my brain automatically goes to oh loud or an obnoxious person. I'll take that and I'll offer you a seat. Oh, you'll get a seat for me instead. Thank you very much. You're a good host, but I'm just a bad guest. <laughs> 
Well, at least you're honest. Uh, well, well, well. Oh, God. It took me the third well to realize the pun. <laughs> Someone gonna get tickled later. Also, we can swap between the different pistols by pressing the same button. So if I press three, first he pulls out the revolver, and then he pulls out the Luger. Is that, is that wine or cider? It's liquor. Hello, can I have you a drink? Okay, I, <laughs> I had the dumb idea to see if we can steal their hats, but no, they just vanish the instant they appear. Ooh, hello. <laughs> hello, sir. I'm the stair inspector. Oh, I, I, I think I know what his uh, glacier boy's weakness now. And yeah, you're throwing into a wall stuns for a bit. Now you go down the stairs. I, I said down the stairs. Uh, well, when he is actually going. <laughs> boink, 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 uh, boink. Okay. I am impressed it goes that to begin with. But I and guess they haven't really done the wall. Yeah, not many gears have figured out the wall drool down the stairs part yet. Yeah, but, ragdoll physics aren't a thing yet. Oh, there's another guy yeah, down there. Yeah, but still, for with terms of the that's still was impressive. They it, at least slide it down. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, people. I'm keep getting impressed by this game a lot. I think this was around the same time that Beyond Good and Evil came out. Oh, also, let's have a sip of that. Totally water in the bottle, not something totally different. Wait, you're having a staring combat? Oh, am I reading this wrong? Staring contest. Oh. oh. There we go. Okay, I'll take that and take this. It's always nice when games offer you a very fillable uh, health, uh, yeah, health thing. Yeah, it is kind of actually. I think they'll make of them actually even. If, if they ever do remakes of these games, I hope they when they do Infernal Machine that they give you a canteen as well. <laughs> Just when I thought things couldn't get any worse. It's a meeting of the round table. Yeah, I guess it, if they were to remaster them or something, uh, maybe not remaster, just remake them, it would probably be easier to have everything ready and set. They just need, need polish. Like, remove whatever little, little bug that is remaining and make it even look even better. But again, it has. It's well, so it might just, it just need a... Who is supposed to be scared? Is that von Beck's alone? Wait, von Beck's alive? We can play cards later, yeah? Huh. Nein, you took all my money last time. <laughs> okay, von Beck is, well, back from the dead. Oh, <laughs> uh, you may want to do a little. <laughs> And yes, I saw that. I saw his explanation. I just saw that. For people who can't read it, Glacier was saying, yeah, hearing I was fighting someone on the stairs and staring cont. <laughs> <laughs> My brain. I did not see that pun earlier. Oh, a throwing knife. And 
Oh, I will see okay. this as proof that you boo for trying to kill me with puns. <laughs> and still you come back. And it appears that we have a maximum amount of bullets for each weapon. Because oh. I picked up a lot more than well would allow for this. So 28 Luger rounds maximum. Let's see. That's not gonna work. Yeah, that's locked. Hmm. Oh dear God! Oh, a bunch. Yeah. Uh, I think it. I think that's a bunch. It looks a bit okay. like a low poly halberd to me. Well, that's not going to work. Uh, that's what a bunch is, also known as a pool cleaver. The way okay. it might be wrong, but though that. Yeah, that's I might be wrong, even though it says that it was a low quality. But a pool cleaver or bulge. Well, yeah, if you get the nickname. It looks like a cleaver on a long pole. That's not gonna work. Hmm. Wait, is this something? It has more detail than the others. Actually, no, I, I know where we need to go. Because there's another opening in the upper area here. So this was me just being dumb. I scoffed Halbert. Yeah, that's yeah, where we need to go. Yeah, it's the type of halberds. Okay. Now we just turn. Go down a bit to get some extra distance. Okay, that should do. Mm, no. Okay, Don't. we need to go lower. But uh, yeah, still still impressed with how this game has held up for the most part. Yeah, the, the only issue we have uh, a few things to get it to work, and uh, otherwise, of course, the ar arrow escaping thing. But the game itself, again, it's impressive. Hmm, we can't actually get so, that much distance. And depending how well made this game is, I guess just how to say this, just a re-release. Wait a minute. Okay, that's just nothing. That's just part of the mechanism upstairs. Do we actually need to be down here, or can we just? get to that from jumping on the other side. Because I think I'm just killing Dr. Jones's knees at this point. Can I pull this again? No. Hmm. Can we just jump from there to there, maybe? Also, can we open those doors to get back to the fountain? Uh, no, there's a gate in front of them. Hmm. Okay, this this is a bit of a part where you could get yourself killed from falling down too much. Why do I hear something swinging? Or is that supposed to be the wind in the curtains or something? His knees died long ago, Alien. Yeah. Poor knees. Poor and knees. I, I think that is supposed to be the wind. Yeah, but... Wait, I look <gasps> up. Ow. Yeah, oh. We can't climb okay. out of here. I'm hmm. more of a wondering if there was something up there doing the sound, but... It's just a ceiling there. Okay, I guess we just have to find the sweet points here. A little lower. Oh. There we go. Up we go. A bit annoying, but oh well. Apparently, someone likes their liquor lukewarm. Is 
shortcuts. Always nice. Yep, I actually got two of them there. Holy! Okay, that's one gone. Can I actually steal one of these? No. Okay, yeah, now we ever get another drink. Oh. That's a lot of uh, shame, but then again... Indy wielding a damn halberd would be terrifying. Yeah, it'd probably be a bit too slow to deal with all of these guys. Depends on how you use it. Uh, you know you can frost with them, right? Yeah, but they could just... All three of them at the same time would be a bit much, I think. Yeah, but so they would still be terrified. Uh, we can't pick up the billiard balls. It's full. It's full. No, it's not. There we it's go. Full. Oh, oh, he's talking about the pistol. That's a... Okay. Jackpot. And library key. Okay. Ooh. Were they playing billiards without the poles? I and again, I guess these could substitute. Oh dear God! But I will not be surprised if you actually broke them. Could be. Then now I kind of want to see a billiards room where <laughs> where it's just two suits holding uh, <clears throat> two suits holding billiard poles instead of swords or pole arms. I would not be surprised if someone has done that as a prank. Okay. Next up on Indiana Jones does uh, breaking and entering. Nice mural. Hmm. Can't say if this is an actual painting or not. Maybe. Only sure. Yep. Okay, that's one way to hold up your. Your torches to stick them through or uh, through dog heads. Also, let's drink up. Dr. Jones needs his uh, needs his adult water. Hello. Adult water, really? <laughs> You, you, you think all these screens we've been finding were whiskey or something? I uh, wouldn't be surprised, but I am just saying it for the freaking joke. Uh, oh, wait, no. Whiskey is not see through. Uh, fire vodka. water? Vodka? We're close and enough course, to Russian territory for that to be vodka. Uh, so yes, you need to work it, on your eyesight, dudes. I think you also can count moonshine? But I think that's also transparent. Okay, that isn't an instant kill. Yep. And he's bringing a seat up for us. <laughs> I'm considerate of him. But, I, sorry, I have to let you down. Ow. I was going to kick him down the stairs. Okay, you get the expressway. Oh, no. Oh, damn you, Helian. What? No, I have a certain song stuck in my head. Oh, hello. Yeah, I'm uh, gonna give you up. It, yeah, I think you know which one. I'm not gonna continue the lyrics. Uh, fun fact, actually. Uh, yeah, uh, really? Your priority is alcohol? <laughs> yeah. And then lead. Jones, put the thing away. Uh, during April 1st, with uh, the medieval mo Minecraft mod pack, uh, closing it down would well, rig roll you. Oh, Not sure if that was face. just the mod pack. Uh, ow. <laughs> hey, make it to the back to the face. But uh, yeah, they, <laughs> they did... The Minecraft would rickroll you when you'd close the game. Oh, 
react to evil. And also, over the few years, I've actually been very careful about surfing YouTube and learning info on anything. Doing for April the 1st, but That's not this good. April the 1st? Not a damn April video came up on my recommendation. Yeah, there, there was one from Smite, but beyond that, I don't think there really was much April Fool stuff, at least That's as far as I saw. Yeah, like, some YouTubers will do April Fool's videos and all that, but even... I even avoided those for some reason. The only one I was half expected to be some kind of April Fool's was the rule. Ark, no, the Ark, the Ascender will not be free when they said they should have been. I feel like they, you know, that, 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 that can, might have a chance when April Fool's. But I was even then skeptical. Yeah, and that they were the fools with that because apparently they are dumb enough to think that people would like that. Is it? Yeah. I you learned that Ark is still earning way a lot of money still. Probably it's Snail Games themselves who owns Valkard. I've been doing a lot of failures. Yeah. And the only one making money is Wildcard. So... Uh, I I'm hoping they'll react to the backlash by just offering everyone uh, free upgrades if they already own Art 1. Uh, it's not even an upgrade. For him. It's, 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 it's an o its own game now. Yeah, but uh, sometimes when game uh, when companies release updated versions of their game, they will you know, people who already own the original version will get it for free or for a discount. Like with Death Stranding, which I've been playing for a bit, like ten hours by now, it has uh, the original version Steam page is gone, but people who own the original version of Death Stranding can upgrade to the definitive edition which would normally cost 50 bucks now i think for just yeah. Yeah, they can just upgrade for 10 instead perhaps but it's snail games apparently they are being known for public co uh, corruption and apparently they even lied to the stockholders about this yeah, that's a good way to get your stocks to plummet yeah so, while I think Valkyrie deserve money to pay, be able to pay their workers, but apparently it may have not been Valkyrie's decision then, since they have enough money to continue to develop the game, just Snail Games, where the one have been messing up That's and uh, pushed the idea on uh, Valkyrie. So, Valkyrie have done the stupidity as well. <sighs> But I tried to learn from at least. So and I saw from Glacier there. Board as well. Something about to not at least don't get known. I think get known is a bit of an, an a meme that's grown a bit old recently and didn't stick around as much as some other old memes. <clears throat> so hello. Yeah. Uh Apparently, one of us got misheard. Uh, if I just got uh, from Glacier Boy a orc meme. Oh, hello. Can we. <gasps> no, we can't grab onto that ledge from drop dropping down because Jones turns when he falls. Okay. Let's go up a level quick. Because there is some. There's a room behind there, and I want to go look for goodies. Wir können hier Hilfe gebrauchen. And um, what I'm pretty sure what they're Indiana actually saying Jones, there. World famous archaeologist. Got a nice ring to it. I'm gonna be a rich man. If I ever get out of this alive. What I think what the Germans are actually ow. Cheeky motherfucker. What they're actually saying is we could use some help. Oh. Or I could use some help. And you two could use a door on your little love chamber here. Uh, wait. Include books? Record. Oh! 
Hill. Hmm. You know what that means, right? Not at the Jack. moment, like the, the, the naughty books. Yes, books. they usually, in some stores, at least in the past, yeah. if they had a corner where they had erotic books or sold erotic books or such, they'd be close it off with a red curtain like this. Okay, I don't remember that ever being a thing over here, or at least not in any places that I've seen. Well, Where you, does this you, book you, go? You, you do have you have red district instead. Yeah. Let's see. That book needs to go somewhere, obviously. I think it's still done go. in some areas. Like, it's probably not as common nowadays, but in some areas in Japan, they still do it. A fake bookshelf. This place is full of surprises. It looks like there's something missing here. Yep, just stick it in. And <laughs> it wouldn't be a German castle without a spin around bookcase. I don't think it's a German castle if you're in Prague. It's a map of the castle. This could come in handy. A Germanic. Yoink. Let's see, the library. And let's see, we are either to the right or the left of it. And Vegas Tower. Vega, get back to Mass Effect 3. Uh, what? That it's a character in Mass Effect 3. Are you doing a Red Bull again? That's not gonna work. It's... Uh, what the... <clears throat> oh, you saw something impressive there. What? With the reflections? A man gives it two thousand three struggle with it. Like we they did well, but then suddenly a few games games later of the two thousand three it became a lost art. It suddenly became hard to, to do. Yeah, probably because one thing that's one way that it's often done with mirrors, I believe. Is that it actually isn't mirrored, or that it isn't actually reflecting or anything, but it's more that, uh, yeah, like with this, there's a, there's a copy of the room on the other side, with the quote unquote mirror being more of a window into it. So, yeah, that, that is why you can see stuff beyond what is should be visible, I think. Uh. But, hmm. Hard to tell in some Wait. cases. Yeah, for that, it, it says it's a mirror. It's supposed to be reverse. Or oh, almost reverse, but it uh, showed mm -hmm. angles it should not have shown. Yeah, but as far as I know, just putting another room in is the most typical way that it's done. <sighs> also, we have extra amp. We have. We're full on ammo of this thing, so... Yep. Okay, I'll take that back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what was the gravity on that guy there for a moment? Yeah. What the... Oh, we're already so far into the stream. An hour and a half. This game is really enjoyable. The time just flies. Yeah. Like that German did for a second. But I liked the infernal machine, but this holy oh, is another level of enjoyment. Hmm. This looks suspiciously easy. Yes. Also, nice little thing there, it didn't start draining health, it started draining our oxygen. Yeah, uh... Green Reapers? I remember this. Hello? Looks like it's waiting for something. I wonder if I have what it's looking for. 
Do we have to give this thing up already now? Yep. Okay, I remember this place. I think There's some kind of control panel. I think I can use it to set the clock. If I remember, actually, either this all needs to be done in one long take, or this is just a, a mini hub for, well, a small area <laughs> where we need to go back and forth. <laughs> As I saw it, let's see. Uh, I will be down. From Glacier Boy. No, Dr. Jones, you just farted. I'm not a big fan of fart yokes, poo, poo yokes and such, but that one works. That one works. Yes. There he is, the to switch and rotate Ooh. hands, left mouse button changes camera angle. He exits. Okay. Yep. No, very obvious what it wants us to do. We have a short horn with the <clears throat> with the moon on four, and a long horn on two. So, yeah. Okay. And, uh, up and down to switch between the hands. And then this one to the bowl. Okay. There's that one, and yeah, we basically have to, we'll have to do that with each of those doors. Okay, they are just, it is just a hub, it's not just one big thing. Collecting objects for a bit, it seems. Uh, we should be able to get another... We might be able to finish this puzzle in this time. But I remember it is taking a bit of time. Assistant? Maybe. Hey, also, I think I could cut that out just for a reaction. Like, what the? <laughs> oh dear. But he, you, you do know it. It comes rather obvious the way when you say maybe. True. Or maybe I'm just messing with you. <gasps> This will not be the first time, so you did it. Let me feel betrayed about the uh, Yetis. In the two world of the game. There we go. Wait, isn't this where we... <laughs> this is where we were before, okay. Hmm. Okay, is this open then now? Yes, it is. Okay. Returning to an older area and adding onto it. Nice. So I like the really time. Nice. I like that they took the time to board up the well after we blew our way into it. Yeah, I say this. Many people say making video game movies is is a curse, but I feel like all in the Jung's games have escaped it That's due to. Not gonna work. Yeah, as another YouTuber said, uh, though he didn't do you this, but it, of something else, that it's better to do another adventure. Yeah. Instead of trying to replicate a movie into a game, or in the, his case. Also, they reverse where you try to replicate a game into a movie. It doesn't work. It's better to do it to have a given age. 
yeah, like he's in one of the many adventures. Like even the movies, it's apparent that he has done this a lot of times before. And there's probably many adventures he have had that has not been the movie of. For as many movies as there are, and games as well, there's even more books. So come here, you, and get out. No. Okay, he fell so far, he ceased to exist. I think you threw him further than you think. Yeah. There but we yeah, go. I was surprised that not many have talked about these uh, Indiana Jones games when it comes to the it for. Again, there again, it's, it's Lucas Art. They probably noticed that right away. And they also knew that. Uh, you know, that it'd it, it be more fun to do and uh, to add to Indiana Jones legend and the legacy when making the games to be one of his many adventures. A zip line that could come in handy if I need to make a quick getaway. And he actually has lip syncing whilst he's talking. Also nice. Really? I think you agree with me that it, this basically, in this manner, they actually expand the Indiana Jones lore and all that. Yeah. I must be directly over the armory. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even see him. Once again, you demand him. Let's see, can we open this up? Not the same guy. Yep. Oh, they all... Uh. Like a uh, officer Jenny, these are just all a bunch of agent uh, Klaus. I have a feeling there's a connection between this broken sword and that clock in the basement. You you said obviously That's Jenny a few times of late. Uh, maybe because I have a bit of <clears throat> Pokemon on the mind since the uh, Ash is retiring and all that. I'm surprised. No, I, I, I'm even more surprised today that under all the 20. How many years was it now? 20 years? More? Yeah, 25 years or something. I, I guess Pokemon aired in Japan longer than they aired in the rest of the world. Hmm. Could we still... could probably find the exact the you know, the exact time on uh, the Pokemon That's Reddit. Not gonna work. Yeah, for it's still it's it's over twenty years apparently, and it's still it does whisk me out. But it means for all those years he didn't grow one damn bit. Yeah. That again, it seems to stop that bad. I feel like you've got a machine gun. I've got a machine gun. Thank you for all of the ammo. I say that, and they didn't actually leave that many bullets for me. Not even a full clip. That's not gonna work. Uh, let's see. Zip line. So probably all just pull, uh, no, not pull, uh, just uh, beelining for the toppers here. Zip lining and beelining. So I'm not sure if that would be too good for his whip. <laughs> Ash is just a late bloomer. <laughs> okay. Oh, another one with an MP4. That. Thank you. Once again, gun down with their own gun. Also, we could have just gotten into this death trap of a place through here. Then again, this would have been closed. True. Uh, let's see. Swords. Okay, sun up, moon right, and scorpion. 
summon him first. Uh, yeah, I, I think I've said this on a different stream as well, but I, I'm, I'm in curious how they'll go with uh, Pokemon without Ash and without Team Rocket, since I heard they'll also be leaving, since, well, they were going after Ash's Pikachu all this time. So, uh, yeah, I, we'll have to see how, if the anime has any lasting power without them. Yeah, I, I'm kind of surprised it took so long for it to happen. But I don't care. When I was young, I kind of liked Pokemon series, but as I got older, I kind of got annoyed by it. And probably why I like Digimon more. Yeah, Digimon tends to be more... It has tends to have more of a continuity with itself and such. And it's m most of the... A good part of uh, Ash's Pokemon journey is connected and all, though it doesn't call back that often. But yeah, they recently did try to sort of soft reboot it with uh, the... Uh, was it X and Y? No, it was Sun and Moon era, where they yeah, treated it like a different ass, but not a different ass. All very confusing from what I've heard. But yeah, that that's, that's not, not good. Work. And also, Digimon is a... Digimon Hello. is one of those creatures that are aware that the audience has grown older. And they are not afraid to go dark and mature. Yeah, they've had the bit from the beginning, I think. Oh yeah, Not that's Ashtar. what I mean. <laughs> and is that probably why I like it for? Yep. It disappeared. Oh dear. But that's yeah, but for probably why I liked it more early on for. It didn't feel like a. Kid, kid movie, so to speak. Yeah. Okay. And oh bloody heck, you have played Cyber Slope. We both know how dark Cyber Slope got. Yeah. In the main quest and in, especially in a few of the side quests. Yeah, like okay, minor spoiler. One of them resulted in apparently. So people's people being sold on the black market for organs. Why yeah, their minds mind stuck on the internet. In the web? Yeah, this place gives me the creeps. Uh, did we just talk over each other about the same thing? A bit, yeah, but yeah, organ yeah. harvesting is not typically something you see in media, or at least uh, uh, general-ish mainstream media. I wouldn't yeah, really say like, that Digimon is too mainstream, but it is very close to it. Yeah, like... It, it's one of the things you did not expect to go, come up in Digimon. But the yeah. darkest one so far that definitely God. lives in horror is probably the, the newest... Uh, uh, what's it called? Oh, bloody hell, I forgot. But I have the game. But it, that one is more... Can you hit what the, the fuck the happened game? there? What the heck? Okay, I the magic German backhand. But yeah, the other Digimon game that came out that some people don't like being a visual novel. I kind of like it, but it, the, the, it, it helps with the whole aspect. Ooh. I, I think that's one called Digimon Survive. Give me that gun. Yes, that one. I'm gonna finish that someday. Yep, let's not get thrown off ourselves. I just taking a long break right there too. It's a lot of reading. But I've grinded a lot on it as well though, so... <laughs> I probably be able to plow through it. The only annoying thing is, if you want the true ending, you need to do the new game plus. Okay, that is always rather annoying. Yeah, like, sometimes it's fine. But it can be annoying as well, especially with so much reading. But I really complimented it on it actually being terrifying. I'm not easily scared, 
but I can when I would play it and I don't get scared but I do understand why the characters are freaking out. Okay, we need to stick to stick in there. It does make me find that stick and stick it to the Germans. Oh dear. There's our stick. Yeah. You like his stick. But yeah, I really hope the next Cyber Slip will be very good. For so far, both have been solid. Yeah. And they follow the wood dog with sure time at times. I just. I just hope they learned from the second game. Like, the second game story was good, but. What the heck? They just. Throw the cutscenes and massive dialogues at your times. Yeah, they, they should probably have some way that you can save, like, in the middle of a cutscene. Like, Death Stranding we, <laughs> that has long-ass cutscenes, and you can just pause in the middle of those. Yeah, no, Cybersoft didn't reach that far, unless in the uh, final level, was perhaps. Or a little bit at start, but... Oh, dear. I've got a bad feeling about this. But this Hacker Memory one... They were a little bit too ham-fisted with the, the dialogue. They should have probably split it out a little bit more or something. Or something I think they do... I hope they do the next game is... English voice actors. For I feel like English voice acting would probably help a lot with those games. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, yeah, just... Throwing it, your enemy against the wall and just wailing on them with alternating punches is also a good way of dealing with them. Hello, Hans. Yeah. You have to demonstrate. I said demonstrate, but if you continue this, I will demonstrate you, which is to throw you out a window. There is no window nearby, but I will freaking find one or make one. Uh, I did not know you could do that to the, the, the armor. You probably should have expected it. And I'm surprised you knew that word. <laughs> I've known it for a bit now. I think I actually learned it from uh, extra credits or something. I, I learned it from That's not the puppet history. Okay. Uh, and I... Where's our hats? I Wait. Think we got the hats. I think it became a word thanks to Prague. Uh, oh, it was he. I think it was he. It happened the most. Well, we've been doing it a decent amount. Well, not really windows, more balconies. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to watch rewatch that episode to double check. I, I, to you, I recommend Puppet History. But I think like you would enjoy the history lessons, but also the little bit of comedy in it. I think you have mentioned it before a while back. Yeah, I, 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 I basically binged it when we both were sick last year. Okay, I'll look it up. Uh, let's see. We got a scroll. And... Okay, that just looks both of them across each other. Ding, ding. That's summon... summoning Satan. That's not Satan, that's uh, Gilbert. Yeah, Gilbert's a bit horny. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> oh, good gods, no! You can guess what's on the scroll. Let's see. Oh, this one? Okay. Uh, Race sun, sun down. And wins. There we go. Nice little puzzle, not too tough. Uh, now, which dwarf was that? This one? We'll see what we come through. Uh, no. Is this new? This, yeah, this is new. It's, I think, Glacier Boy agrees with you. Okay, we've already got three medkits. Also, we have some throwing knives. Let's try these out. Oh dear. That's the tower marked on the map. I've got to find a way 
to get out there and find that crystal. Pardon? I can't really tell how I really think about uh, the voice actor yeah, here. Oh, uh, it, it, it's, it's not horrible. Yeah, he does sound a little bit bored here and there. Also, I like that we don't actually get thrown off for getting shots. Yeah, I think you're trying to channel Indiana Jones from the movies, but uh, accidentally drop it sometimes. It's not horrible. Yeah. It's far from horrible, just, again, it, you may sometimes do a slip. That's not gonna work. Yeah, it could also just be we we had uh, the other voice actor in the front of the machine. Oh, oh, yep. Oh, oh, wait, <laughs> this is Harrison Ford. Uh, it, is it actually him in, him himself in this? I feel, I feel he has done some games with himself in, with uh, that he actually oh, did oh. the voices. Hmm. <laughs> it's Doctor Jones. His actor sounds like a pothead. But uh, I was going to say we did come from Inferno Machine, where uh, that voice actor. Puts, in, puts on the ham quite a bit with the voice, I'd say. Not like extremely, but he's a lot more noticeable to with how he joined the things. secret police to get away from guard duty. Ah, what I wouldn't give for a good strudel. Uh, I can't uh, give you a strudel, but I can give you this. The secret police. Oh, were they, were, they, were they infamous? Yeah. So they are infamously getting their ass kicked now. Christian uh, Ford sounds like he is high. Why He's my always mind. Pick the hard way. Give me that. Pull on ammo with this thing again. Yo, hmm. Listen to this. He. he I do feel like the voice that it has captured Indy's voice rather well. Yeah. In a way, he's doing it a bit more subdued as well. We aren't dealing with uh, an infernal machine in this time. Yeah. And this time, he is in enemy territory. Bonk. Yeah, Gestapo. Hmm. Actually, what? Weren't the Escapo disbanded after the war? They probably were, which means this is not after the war. Yeah, I, th I think it is. Hmm. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to fly from America. He wouldn't be able to fly from America to Germany if the war was still going on. So. I'm going to take a guess and say that this takes place after Inferno Machine. So at the border of the 50s. Uh, you do know he traveled a lot even during the war. It happens in the movies. Every here. Yeah, I'm presuming that he wouldn't pass through Germany that much, if at all. But I could be wrong there. Yeah, and also know he has contacts. True. He did. He did have a contact to basically uh, get across to uh, get parachuted over the Russian border, or close to the Russian border. Yeah. So this you see my point here. Then. Safe way to fly. Unfortunately, I don't have any other choice. Yep. Just teleport on. What? Wait, what? Ain't that? He should be blown right off, but let's just enjoy the silliness. Wait. And there goes that info the machine. Stay on there. What's that? 
Wasn't that one of Leonardo's mach uh, machines? It looked like one of them. Uh, uh, let's see. They were, yes, and Interpol's predecessor because uh, they were in Austria during Nazi Germany. That's under Nazi control. Okay, lots of the movies take place in the 1930s. True, so this could be set before Inferno Machine. And I've got a De definitely before about Inferno this. Machine. I'll, I'll double check after stream, which is going to be soon. Uh, also, uh, hello. <laughs> ah, more gas. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute face full. No, not that way, Jones. I have to get out of here. <laughs> now! There we go. Now, where do we go with this? Not down there. Hmm, actually... The MP40 being a thing here could be a sign of when this game takes place, since I'm pretty sure that it was made for World War II. And if this was in the middle of the war, I think the German secret police would be a bit more obviously bootstomping around instead of being in somewhat sort of disguise, so... Hmm. I'll, I'll double check. Or could this be a vague 40s, 50s time t period where things got mixed up together a bit or something? I think it's during the war for otherwise... They will probably not bother uh, trying to find the artifacts. But it sounds like one of the items that... Certain someone at this time period will want. Okay, scales, which are the other way. Okay, and then just run these across from each other. Oh, other way around. <laughs> But yeah, from two, ten, what? Or do they both need to be on ten? There we go. Okay, a little bit trickier, but still yeah, with that, the answer written right on front of it. That, I guess we was reading something here. Let's see. It was. Uh, you read. Hey, what's that? Hello. Oh. Uh, we disturbed someone's beauty sleep. Uh, as I run circles. Monster? It was made before World War II, but was used during the war. The movies took place during the mid-30s, and World War II started around 1939. Yeah. Okay, we were fighting a techno wizard because he just cast Fireball. At the beginning of the war. Oh, that didn't make sense to write out on the cover. Could be, yeah. Uh, like, if this is Poland, or Poland area is, the Czech, yeah. It could be before the invasions started. So give me that back. Hmm. We need to do something here. But what the heck is that tree? Is that a super solar or. Looks like a very, at the very least, an attempt at one. Yeah, for what Frankenstein's monster, but now I'm unsure. Ow. Okay, I see what we need to do. Oh, it's some kind of acid. That stuff is lethal. Ow.
Okay, he is he's going to keep reenacting Donkey Kong, it seems. It works a lot better if the, when they're <laughs> when those are out when those are cylindrical, not just square. Let's see. Germany had already occupied Czech uh, by the start. Okay. I did not know this. I'm, I'm guessing the yeah the late 30s then. Pick it up, don't. Yep. Yep. They cast fireball. I cast Mel cast arrow. And yes, that is actually a spell in D&D, Melv's Acid Arrow. <laughs> okay, nice there. The hitbox <laughs> didn't actually form... The hitbox doesn't actually form a cylinder around him. Ah. So, that flask went straight between his legs. There we go. Oh, oh, just shrivels up. Uh, still not dead, though. Okay, now it just looks like a techno zombie. Up. Techno zombie whose ass we're going to kick. Up the bow. Okay, the another expect expecting to charge. He had hit Mati himself with the wall and got him still a bit stunned there. Okay. Momentary confusion as he loses track of us. Ow. Bonk, knock, knock. Yeah, you want him to shoot you the walls. Dragon shard. Okay. Uh, where's the hats? Yeah, where's uh, the hats? Oh, bloody hell. Yes, we, yes, now we, we missed a few texts there from uh, Glacier Boy. Oh, fuck. Can you hear me, Dr. Jones? What? No more jokes. You again? Wonderful. Yeah, I cannot express how delighted I am to see you again so much to discuss. Throw him on the train. I will conduct the interrogation when we reach Istanbul. That's just a bunch of Istanbul shit. So was there a piece of the, the mirror over there or not? Or was that all just a distraction? Some hangover. Where am I? Istanbul. What am I doing here? How long have you been out? What was that? Ah, you're finally awake. I'd advise you ah. to save your strengths. Our interrogations can be quite grueling. Sadly, I have other matters that require my attention. We could always wait until you return. I think not. Goodbye, Dr. Jones. Mei Ying, get me out of here. It looks like we got the wrong Dr. Jones after all. Don't let this little bump in the road throw you. The Nazis have no idea what they're looking for. Do not be too sure of that. The Germans are excavating a city underneath Istanbul. They found the palace of Belsarius? 
No wonder Von Beck was in a hurry. You must go there and find the third piece of the Mirror of Dreams. Remember, I'll be watching you. Don't you trust me? You hired me. Backflip from a standstill. Not even going to pretend to be still stuck in there. You're good. I need an edge. Okay, uh, let's fight these two off for the moment so we have a moment of peace. But uh, yeah, I, that pretty much ensures where the hell this is all set. Or when. Yeah. Holy. But then again, uh, the Nazis are Jones's most common enemy. Besides Russians. And monsters. Okay. So, yeah, I, I'm guessing there was a shard there. We'll, we, we just got caught off before we actually got to it. So that does make me wonder where the hell was it? Or was Beelzebub supposed to come up with the last and with the piece after we gave him the last uh, thing? Or no, wait, no, no, no. The dragon shards. It must have been that. I just didn't get a good look at it on the ground. Okay. Yes, it dropped from the soldier thingy. I yeah. guess they tried to use it to make a soldiers. Yeah, Frankenklaus. Oh come on. Uh, yeah. For now, though, that's where we'll call tonight's stream. And uh, yeah. <clears throat> Still liking the game, uh, doing a lot better now that the the mouse is properly imprisoned to the game's window. Oh, uh, it makes it even easier to appreciate how well made this game is. Yeah, so let's head on over here, close off the game, and we go look for someone to raid. But before that, let's actually read back what Glacier Boy put on. Uh, let's see, Germany had already occupied Czech by the start of the war. Since Project Artipoid was before the war when the armistice with Germany was made null and void. Okay. Uh, Project Arthropoid Arth uh, was the assassination of one of the architects of the Holocaust. Okay. Uh, let's see. We start up the browser. We screen share that to Drakir. Uh, there we go. Go live. And let's see who are online. We have Nico Silverado who is doing art again. We have Swalbe1728 who is streaming Warhammer 40k Dawn of War again. Okay. We have Grim the Wolf with Code Vein. Todd Skeletail is playing Backpack Hero. And then we have Smoops Other Nonsense with Dwarf, Roman Dwarf Romantic. Yeah, I'm not sure how to say that, but I've seen that around. I think it's Dwarf Romantic. With Dwarf being, well, a, a short version or a, a bastardite version of Dwarf. Yeah, yeah mm. I'm not sure about that. But I'm not sure they are even, even Dwarfs in this game. Oh, they, oh, they have a... It's their uh, second year anniversary, apparently. Okay. Oh. And last, we have Halloween 4545 with Resident Evil 4. Okay. Shall we rate any of them, or shall we look at the recommended channels? I see. Smoop on the nonsense or Halloween? Okay, let's go for Smoops then. So, copy their name, go to our place, and we slash rate, paste. But before we start, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Glacier Boy, for chatting along and giving some some info around the area, or around the era. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for joining. <clears throat> okay. Uh, no stream tomorrow. Not going for three in a row this time. But likely another stream the day after on Thursday. And after that, I'll be free for a while again. And let's see. We've done two. T we've done Jones this two times now, or one and a half more, and a half of Tomb Raider. So, Thursday, we will start with Guacamelee 2. Yes. 
Okay. But for now, let's start up that raid. And uh, yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Peace, everyone. Until next time.